Drobo Migration Basics Another question we get asked often is, uh, you know, Drobo's been around for 10 years. We have a lot of customers upgrading to their next Drobo. So we get asked, how do we uh, migrate our data from our old Drobo to our new Drobo? Now, we've done this very simply to kind of create uh, migration paths for all of our customers. And if you go to Drobo.com, under our resources tab, under uh, Drobo Migrations, uh, you can quickly come over here to see the supported dispatch migrations we offer. And we break it up in three sections, our, our DAS, our direct attached storage, our network attached storage, and our SAN product line. So you can quickly see here, um, if we start with our direct attached, kind of what the current product line is and what does it migrate to. So you can kind of use this chart as what product I have and what product I'm going to upgrade to. Now, if it doesn't have necessarily a migration path to it, um, like you may have a Drobo Pro or, you know, something like that, and you want to upgrade to, you know, a 5 bay, provided the capacity is there uh, from the 8 to 5 bay, um, you would simply drag and drop the files over. So it's, and that's not necessarily a bad thing to not have a migration path because you can also be using a new disk pack. So, um, Oftentimes people think it's just easy to migrate the disk pack. For budget uh, kind of senses, it, it does make sense to kind of use the same pack in a new Drobo. Uh, to do this, we have a few kind of crucial steps we have to hit before. Once we verify that we can do the migration, we have to make sure the Drobos are on the latest firmware. Um, they both have to be on the latest firmware to be able to do a my disk pack migration. So you always want to make sure, this is why we strongly encourage you to keep using your Drobo dashboard to check if there's any new firmware updates and to keep Drobo up to date because the firmware is what provides stability to your Drobo and bug fixes and enhancements. So it's always great to keep your Drobo up to date and you can always find out if there's a firmware update for your Drobo within Drobo dashboard. And under our network detached side, it's similar here. You would just see the product you're migrating from and which product you're migrating to and kind of check if there's a path here. And again, if the path wasn't listed here, you could easily migrate it over the network, uh, all the files one at a time. Now, obviously, as files are larger, it may take you some time to move terabytes of space. Uh, and then our SAN products as well, we do have those listed here as well. Uh, kind of some other stuff. And then, you know, at the bottom of that page, we kind of have a little other resources we have to go to. So we hope this kind of really easily kind of shows you how we've done migration paths. And we try and make this uh, kind of as easy to follow as possible. It always starts with what drive or Drobo you have and what Drobo you're going to and whether the path will work for it. Uh, most important note here is making sure your firmware is up to date and your Drobo dashboard's in use that would be the biggest step to always remember and always keep your Drobo uh, protected the most way. I mean, you want to protect your files, so it's always good to be on the latest firmware. For additional resources, visit myproducts.drobo.com.